Can the company turn things around, though? In the meantime, we're asking Dan McGinn, who helps companies like Firestone and GM recover, try to recover from their own PR crises. Uh, give me a sense here. We have seen BP talk to the press, particularly the mainstream press, and try to communicate their efforts to clean things up. They have not spoken to the business press. Is that the right strategy right now? Well, I, I will tell you, my, my own advice for them is they've got to be as open and transparent as they can be. They've got to be as forthcoming as they can be. Now, the fact is, BP is doing a lot, but right now, no one believes it's enough. People are so, you know, your views are so clouded over by the fact that they can't contain it. So you're suspicious. Are they putting all the resources in? Are they doing everything they can do? And then the same thing applies to government. That's why people are so skeptical. We just don't sense that there's enough here, even though I, I know that they're putting enormous effort in. Right. No, and, and I was just giving us a sense of the financial toll and all the speculation out there about what's right. going forward going to be the pressure on the stock price. Are they going to be able to keep up a dividend? Uh, so there are real questions out there. I want to play a soundbite for you from the CEO of BP and have you comment on it. Listen in. We're sorry for the massive disruption it's caused to their lives. And, you know, we're, there's no one who wants this thing over more than I do. You know, I'd like my life back. I'd like my life back. Um, is, yeah, is Tony well, Hayward on message? That. Uh, no, I know he would take it back. He, look, here's what I talk to CEOs and executives about. One of the biggest misunderstood parts of a crisis is that people don't realize you lose your life. You're gone. You, it takes over everything. You're consumed with this 24 hours a day. It is personal for them. So, of course, they, per, you know, they comment that way. That's the wrong thing to do. I know he would take it back because no one wants to hear that. The fact that your life has been inconvenienced is the least important part of this. But that's a very common reaction because you're so overwhelmed at the time. Do we need to be hearing more from Tony Hayward himself? BP has put other executives out there as well. Is that a strategy that makes sense to you? Um, you've got to show, I, I tell people there are three parts of the crisis. There's a technical part where they've got to solve this leak. There's the legal and regulatory part that's all chaotic right now. And then there's the personal emotional part. He can't be out enough. Now, he can't do it all by himself, but he can't be out enough because pe what people want to know is, does he get it? Does he understand the magnitude, the personal impact here? It's the same thing with Obama. When Obama, when President Obama was trying to argue with people, this is really my top priority, what he's telling you is his own internal research shows that people don't believe it's his top priority. That's what people want to see. Do you appreciate the magnitude? Mm -hmm. Are you putting all of your energy and heart and, 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 and well and, and, and firepower into right. this? That's what people want to know. All right. Dan McGinn, thanks for your perspective.